What's up, YouTube? BK with BK Gaming 9000 here. The hotfix is out for Destiny, and instead of doing an update for the hotfix, I'm gonna bring you what is best for this hotfix. Like, what weapons have kind of jumped from mid card to top card, from bottom card to top card uh, now after this hotfix. So, um, if you enjoyed this video and want future videos like this, a like would be super appreciated. Subscribe for more. Uh, but let's go ahead and jump right on into it. So with the hotfix there was a lot of changes to the weapons uh, Most notably for me the top weapons are three tiers the hand cannons the auto rifles and uh, The scout rifles and yes, I left the pulses out there for now, but as we look at the hand cannons uh, we can see that the um, uh, significantly increased initial accuracy it returns to what it was in year one they, re they reduced the base range from 35 meters to 40 meters uh, with the reduced aim assist and magnetism uh, for longer ranges being off uh, the reduced minimum damage after fall off from 50 to 33 percent it sounds bad in theory but in actuality it's not too bad as you see me uh, take that guy out from a long distance with my hawk moon uh, one of the weapons that I do recommend is the Hawk Moon, as I did search through my vault looking for these weapons that I thought that you guys would enjoy using. Uh, I also found the Finellis Pearl uh, from the Iron Banner, so if you have one of these uh, in your vault, um, this thing was uh, one of the only hand cannons in my vault that three shotted people. Um, even my Palindrome uh, four shots people now, so uh, with this, it still three shots people, so it was kind of exciting. Um, so I definitely recommend the Hawk Moon, the Finalis Pearl, the Palindrome if you do have a pretty decent roll for it, uh, that can always be good. Jumping over to the Auto Rifle, starting out I'm using the Doctor in the Passing, uh, the High Rate of Fire one. Uh, they increased the precision, precision damage uh, modifier from uh, 1.25 to 1.3, increased base damage of low rate of fire um, you know, for the Auto Rifles. I think it was by like 2.5%, I'll put the stuff on the screen, uh, but as you see, the Doctrine of Passing melts people um, when it's like, you know, face up against them. I got another one that's showing melting people. I don't use the Doctrine of Passing that often, and I never did, because I didn't, I didn't like the way that it handled, uh, but it's not too bad now. So, let's move on over to uh, the Kazostov, or I can't even pronounce that, the Kavostov. that's better. Um, Auto rifle from uh, that returned in the Rise of Iron. As you can see, the damage fall off from way far away in that distance. Uh, I did pick one guy off, and then I had uh, kind of a, a 1v1 battle with that one guy there, and uh, I was able to uh, clear him away. Uh, the surprising thing about the auto rifles that kind of took me off guard is the fact that they, with the increased amount of damage, uh, the percentage of damage and stuff like that, um, it makes it a very viable weapon. Uh, you know, I've, I've beaten Grasp of Malix. I've beaten um, Clever Dragons with, with my auto rifle. I've beaten hand cannons. Uh, I've actually traded with hand cannons and vice versa. I've traded uh, using a hand cannon with uh, an auto rifle. So everything's kind of meshing together with these two. Uh, and as you see here, um, you know, you can take them on with no problem. Uh, before, auto rifles would take a significant amount of time to kill somebody, but uh, even using, and I'll get to the last one, which is my favorite, uh, I, I've killed two people with one clip, and uh, before using an auto rifle, that wasn't even heard of, um, unless you had like a, a, you know, you put extended magazines on there, so um, that's something to think about, and the reason why I'm moving more towards the auto rifles is because with the handling and stuff like that getting a lot better uh, with them as well as the damage uh, it's easier to go ahead and kill and even, even you can even spray from the hip as I just did with there and I believe I have another example coming up in the near future uh, spraying from the hip and showing you guys um, how deadly auto rifles can be uh, nowadays so it's definitely something to think about. Um, things that I've looked in my vault were like the Seven Cents or any Soros auto rifle. Um, you know, they're, they're pretty decent. I know the new Monarchy has a pretty decent auto rifle that, um, you know, you used back in, you know, a couple weeks ago and, and that was good. Uh, well, just imagine how good it is now. Um, so, definitely you might want to take a look in your vault and seeing uh, what is out there. Um, I've probably tried the one of the only guns that I've tried for um, pulse rifles 
well, not the only guns. I've tried a lot of pulse rifles, slow fire rates, fast fire rates, everything. Uh, my favorite pulse rifle to use if you came here looking for that uh, is the Bad Juju. The Bad Juju stands out for me. Uh, I love it. A lot of people use the Red Death. But moving on to the star of my show is the Suros Regime. Um, this is my favorite, by far, uh, auto rifle to use. Uh, it was sitting in my vault. I don't believe I've ever used it. And, um, you know, I wanted to use it and it just, it melts people. So, it's, it's exciting to me because I was doing, you know, very well with it and feeling very comfortable with my shots. They could pick people off at long ranges, which is always good. Um, I don't, you know, and, and it can also do fairly well in short battle as well. So that is something to think about uh, when you choose your weapons. One of the weapons that I look to try also is the Fabian strategy, uh, but I don't have that. Um, I do have it obtained. I just haven't made a video on it. So um, you know, I might make a video standalone with that. Considering you know, I might make a video standalone for the Tlock as well as the Ace of Spades uh, for the Hunter um, now in year three with this new patch and stuff like that. So moving on, uh, the third one is the Scout Rifles. Um, nothing really changed with the Scout Rifles, it's just they increased the uh, in-air accuracy. So if anything, the Scout Rifles were one of the only ones that got super buffed. Um, I wouldn't even call that a super buff, I just think they just added to it. So um, Scout Rifles, to me, I just picked up my Mita Multi-Tool which everybody uses a scout rifle and I just decided to sit here and kind of um, you know pick some people off and try to like you know just do some damage help my team out from behind um, kind of get the feel of the scout rifle because that's what scout rifles are you're supposed to be picking off these people you're supposed to be sitting in the back uh, as like a, a far range uh, um, you know scout as like a you know a sniper if you will as you can see, I picked this guy off from, from back there. So, um, scout rifles to me still stand on top because I've always used scout rifles um, and they didn't really go anywhere. So, uh, you know, I would love to know your guys' opinion. Let me know some different weapons that you've used. I've seen uh, people kill me with Talaks, I've seen people kill me with um, Righteous, uh, The Last Word, uh, Boolean Gemini, of all things. I've seen people kill me with um, Righteous Sevens, uh, what's another one? Uh, just a bunch of different ones. So if you guys like this video, a like would be super appreciated. Subscribe for more, and I'll catch you guys in that next one. Peace.